Hi guys, last week we have imported a CSV file in After Effects and used it to create an animated bar chart. Well, that was not enough. So today I'm going to show you how to use expressions to move the bars depending on their value and create a real data-driven bar chart race. Of course, I'm going to let you download the project. My name is Claudia Barber and I welcome you on my motion design channel. So, this is where real fun begins. First thing first. So, two things to do. First one is to subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. Second one is to download the project file that I'm going to share with you for free. If you're watching this video on YouTube, just go to the description below the video and click on the link. You will be redirected to the page of my website where you can download the, the project. Otherwise, uh, just go to my website, uh, claudiobarber.com, uh, and look for the data-driven project. So, um, let me show you once you arrive on my website. Um, you will be uh, redirected here to this, uh, to this page, uh, data-driven bar chart race. Uh, and you just go down and you will find uh, the download uh, link. Click on it uh, and you will receive uh, this uh, zip file. Just get uh, the, the folder uh, somewhere on your, on your machine and once you have uh, copied it locally, this is what you will find uh, inside. So you have uh, in the footage, uh, you have the CSV file containing <coughs> all the, um, the data that you, you will be able to modify it. However, now uh, let's go first to see the um, after a fret project, which I have uh, already opened here in the background, uh, here it is. So uh, you can already use this um, this file, uh, uh, this project uh, out of the box. Uh, if you have uh, a project in mind, uh, you have just to you can do just some minor modification. What you have to know is that here in the control layer, I have put some um, configurations in uh, on the on the the sliders here and the color pickers. So you have to modify the, the number of lines you have in the CSV file. You have to put the exact number and the number of columns you have, the total number of columns you have in the CSV file. Um, then for each of the bars, you have four layers, okay, which are um, important. The first one is the rectangle here the one which is uh, uh, changing width. Then you have uh, the value on the right side, which is showing the current um, interpolated value. Then you have uh, the label on the left, and the value of the label is taken, of course, from the CSV file. And then you have a control layer. And in the control layer is where the calculations are, are done. So if you want to modify the labels, for instance, you don't want to have a USA with the dots, but without, and that's it, you save it, and then you go back into the project, and you see that you have this warning saying that the CSV file has changed, and voila, you see that the label has changed automatically. You can also add uh, or delete uh, columns, no problem, just remember, to use uh, to update also the the um, the controller the control layer inside of of the project here <coughs> just add or modify the lines um, another thing that you have to know <coughs> is that if you add another line all this uh, you, you can copy you can copy the layers automatically so uh, for instance, uh, once you have the first one, uh, and two, three, four, five, uh, yeah, two, three, four, five, you can delete them. Uh, you have just one set. Uh, okay, you will have a warning here saying that uh, there are some missing parts, uh, but that's because uh, we don't have uh, uh, updated the, the number of columns uh, here. So if we put uh, um, two columns, which is actually the year, the first uh, data to, to show, which is USA. You see there's no warning anymore. And 
okay, it's 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 alone, so it's not doing much. <laughs> That's not much. Uh, uh, this is not so much interesting. But uh, yeah, that's it. If you want to have uh, uh, to consider true um, columns, uh, you, what you have to do is simply select uh, the four layers, uh, the um, one v one t one c one, and Control D to duplicate them, and also to modify the number of columns to three. And voila, you see that. Uh, now the, the the second column from the CSV file has been taken into consideration and it's shown and the chart race has begun because you can see that well, USA and China are competing. Same thing for, for the following uh, layers. Just take the, the last one so it will be easy to, to duplicate. So Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D and then you go back to Ctrl and put 6 in here and you have the result. So you can do the same uh, if you modify the values uh, here in the, in the CSV file. Actually, the CSV file it's, it's, a, it's a format uh, but it's, 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 it's a spreadsheet actually so if you if you open it into uh, uh, Excel or Google Docs or whatever this is how it, uh, it appears. You can all modify, you can add another column uh, really easily and then you, you export in uh, CSV format uh, and that's, that's all you have to do. So now for the, more, uh, for the most curious of you, uh, I'm going to very briefly describe what's happening behind the scenes, how I get the value uh, the current value from the uh, CSV file. The current value is here in the in the C uh, in the control layer in the DV1. You see, the current value is calculated uh, very easily, just getting the data from uh, the the corresponding column row in the footage file. The CSV file is referenced uh, using uh, two coordinates: uh, the row and the column. They are starting with uh, with zero always, uh, so. Just remember that. Um, this is how you get how you get the the value. So I, I just read the value from the CSV file and put it in DV1 and DV2. DV1 is the current value. DV2 is the value at the at the uh, the next value of the following year, following line in, in the CSV file. And then uh, I put I use uh, those two in the the value which is the interpolated value between the two, dv1 and dv2. I do the linear interpolation between the two and this gives me the, the current value which is shown here for instance. And that's it. dp1 and dp2 are the, the, the dp1 is the current position in the, in the chart race and dp2 is the next position in the, in the, in the chart race. And this allows me to um, to calculate uh, when the bar have, have to, to move upwards or downwards using the y position of, uh, of the, its rectangle in here. Here, you see, I'm taking the dp1 and dp2, which is the old position and the new position, and I'm just calculating uh, with the ease uh, interpolation the current y position of the chart. So uh, I'm not saying that it's easy. Uh, it, uh, it will require a bit of a, of a looking around and trying to un understand what's what's happening. But it's pretty scalable that you can use this uh, with uh, more rows, more lines. Uh, uh, and it's been a good exercise uh, to understand how to uh, use a CSV file in After Effects, how to use uh, linear and uh, uh, ease interpolations uh, in, uh, in After Effects. And I don't know which are the limits of this, because I've seen uh, some tutorials on the internet saying that uh, using expression you are going to have, a, uh, you are going to find limitations, uh, but that, that's true because uh, I mean, it's already depending on the power of your machine, but can uh, the, the, the number of calculation increases with the number of rows and lines, of course. 
because you have to calculate, uh, I mean, to compare each value with the other columns at each moment. So it can be pretty long story if you have a slow machine. But have a look at this. Uh, I hope you can find this, uh, this, uh, this project interesting. Um, that's all I think for, uh, for, for today. Let me know if you uh, have uh, some ideas on how to improve uh, this, uh, this project. Uh, as I said, uh, I did it uh, as a personal uh, curiosity because I was uh, looking at the Flourish uh, animated charts that you can see on, uh, on internet, uh, on YouTube, everywhere, and said I wanted to, to do something similar in, in, in After Effects. I think this can be useful in some cases. Um, as it's, it's, it's pretty it's pretty scalable but yeah let me know what you think uh, if you have uh, ideas on how to improve uh, on uh, what can be modified uh, feel free it's, it's, <laughs> project is free and uh, advices are free uh, to give and receive as well so thank you very much uh, for listening to me and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in looking in watching more videos uh, like uh, the video if you liked it and um, that's all. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.